The homework for 2.1 is going to go along with what we learned in the lesson, uh, the first lesson of our second unit here regarding angle relationships. We learned that adjacent angles are pretty much angles side by side, and we can use the given diagrams to set up an equation and solve for missing variables or finding the uh, uh, missing angles. We can also use the fact that lines crossing create vertical angles. These are the angles that are directly across from each other um, and we know that they are the same. So if I have uh, vertical angles we can set them equal to each other. In the meantime I'm going to do a few, two, maybe three of these problems. Um, no more than half of them on this page in order to get you going. In our first example here we are told to find x we are given 4x plus 108 and 2x here. So here we have a straight line. We know that lines equal 180. So I can add these two things together. And I'm going to get one. Am I going to get, and I'm going to get 180. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve for x so I can combine my like terms. I can add my 4x and 2x together to get 6x plus 108 is going to give me 180. I'm going to subtract the 108. So we get 6x equals 72. We can divide by 6 and we end up getting x equals 12. So again, finding x, we found x, we are set with this particular problem. Number two, we are told angle BEC, so from B to E to C, we are told that is y degrees. We are told angle DEB, from D to E to B, that is 3x. And we are told angle DEA is 2x minus y. So now what we have to do is we have to figure out a way in which to find the values of x and y. And, or, and in this case, we need to figure out what angle AEC is. So this is our unknown here. What we can do is we see it's a vertical angle to DEB. So we can say this is 3x. But in the end, it still doesn't help us out much because 3x plus y equaling 180, we still have two variables within the equation. In this particular case, looking at our values, there is nothing that's going to um, really cancel out. But what we do have, I see that this angle and this angle are vertical angles. They are the same. So when two things are the same, we can set them equal to each other. So maybe that will help us out. So we can say 2x minus y equals y. And what we want to do is we want to get y to one side, x on the other. So we'll add y to both sides, and we end up with 2x equals 2y. So if we divide by 2, we end up with the statement x equals y. So again, we don't come up with a solid answer, but we do have something where we can interchange x with y, and everything is going to be hunky-dory. When two things are equal, I can swap them out indefinitely. So everywhere there's an x, I could replace it with a y because they are equal. Same with the y. Everywhere there's a y, I could put an x, and we are going to be just fine. So with that, we can say we have the linear pair here. So we do know that AEC, in terms of x, because it's a vertical angle, is 3x. So now we have the linear pair down here. We have 3x plus y gives me 180. Well, we know that x and y can be used interchangeably. 
So AEC, we have the variable x, so I'm going to replace the y with x because we want our answer to be with x. So 3x plus x is going to give me 180. Combine our like terms, 4x is 180. If we divide by 4, we get an x value of 45. But we need to figure out what the angle is. So now we know what the value of x is. We know that angle AEC equals 3x. Well, x is 45. So I do 3 times 45, and I get 135 degrees. So it's kind of a, it's a substitution problem where we have to get one variable equal to another. In this case, we can use them interchangeably, x equals y. Again, AEC is written in terms of x, so I'm going to replace the y with x. And then I will solve for the given x and then substitute the value of x into what AEC is equal to. And that's essentially what we're going to be doing with the rest. Three, find x and y. Four, same thing, find x and y. Five and six are all the same thing. Using rules of linear pairs, substitution, as well as vertical angle relationships to find the missing variables and values.